Just last Friday, General Westmoreland, speaking to a joint session of the 90th Congress, confidently predicted ultimate victory for his troops in Vietnam should they continue to receive the support of those on the home front. The enemy, he stated, believes our Achilles heel is our national resolve. It is obvious that those in Hanoi who in past weeks have rebuffed peace overtures from our president, from you, son, and most recently from the Canadians, believe that we will prove no different from the French, that ultimately the war will become politically unacceptable in Washington, just as it once did in Paris, and ultimately we will withdraw without victory from Vietnam. If our resolve deteriorates, if the communists can back us down by fear, attrition, or internal division, the implications for the future of the free world are grim to contemplate. For if the communist world finds that our pledge to stand and fight is but a hollow bluff, the credibility of our deterrent shield will be broken. That we mean what we say is the major force which has checked the spread of communism in order